Hi, Cheryl Locke here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the chroma key in paint.net. Okay, here we are in our paint.net, and I have up a picture of Granny Fran, and we took this using a green screen. I've cropped it down to be pretty close to her. Now what I'm going to do is go up to Effects, go down to Photo, go to Chroma Key. As you can see, as soon as I hit Chroma Key and it opens, it's going to take away most of the green. The problem with this image is it's also taken some of her face and we can see little spots where it's going to be transparent and we don't want to do that. So I'm going to go up here to where it says Alpha Map and just slowly move it over a little bit. And now I filled back in her face and she looks just fine. Once I get it where I want, you can try this further if you need to or back it off. It'll just depend. Just keep an eye that it's not taken away from your actual image. Then you're going to click OK. Now, to make this picture complete, what I would do, since you can see her arm bar, is I would just go over if I had cleanup to do, grab the eraser, make it as big as I need to, and I can just go over there, put it up next to her, and start cleaning it up. And sometimes you have to do this with a few green spots. If your lighting isn't perfect, you may have to do this a few places around your image. Once you get it like you want and it's good enough, and a lot of it depends on what background you're going to use with them too. So if you're going to use a background that is a green, you may not have to worry about every little spot getting them cleared. So once you've got it done, go over to File, Save As, you're going to want to rename your file, and you're going to want to save it in a PNG so it keeps the transparency. If you save it as a JPEG, it won't be transparent. Then just click Save and OK. As you can see, we used a green screen in this one. Another one here, we have a blue screen. Now, she's pretty small in this image, and I don't want to have to deal with all this other different colors because we had some lighting spots. So what I'm going to do is, since she's going to be transparent, I'm going to take and I'm going to crop her as close as I can. We'll go right about there. Go up to Image, Crop to Selection, and now I'm working with a lot less area that I have to worry about coloring. Now we used a blue screen because she's got on her green St. Patrick's Day hat, so obviously a green screen wouldn't work. The problem we have with Granny is she has blue eyes, so we have to keep a really close eye on that when we go to clear out this blue that we don't take her eye color away. So if you're using a blue screen, don't wear anything blue or don't have a blue picture that you're going to save. And if you're going to use a green screen, don't have anything green. So this time we're going to go up to Effects, go to Photo, Chroma Key. And as you can see, it ate her green hat. But if you look here, you've got Chroma Key Green or Blue. And here we go. We've got a little bit of a line around Granny, but we've still got her eyes. So we're going to try to take a little bit of that blue away from her sweater. And we're doing pretty good. And as you can see, I've gotten most of the blue away from her sweater without making her eyes transparent, which is always a bonus. Now her lighting was a little off on this, so when you're using a green screen or a blue screen, try to get the lighting on the screen more than on your actual image, and it'll save you a lot of trouble later. So we've got this one pretty good. Click OK. And if for any reason I needed to get a little bit closer, I just grab my eraser and clean it up. And usually to do that, I would take my image and zoom it in big so that I have a bigger area I can erase with. So once we've got her cleaned up like we want, whoops, I can't get her size right, but there we go. Then we go to File, Save As, and I of course would save it as a 
PNG. We'll rename it because I never want to mark over my original. Save and OK. So it's just that easy if you've got a green screen or a blue screen to use the chroma key on your paint.net. And keep in mind, paint.net is a free download and you can get lots of plugins. So if you don't have the chroma key plugin, you can get it for free. And it's pretty easy to use. In fact, we've got some other paint.net tutorials, so be sure to check them out. And thanks for watching.